Okay, here we are back inside Matrix Gold once again. Thanks for tuning in. I hope the videos are helping you in your designing process. If they are, please tap that subscribe button, hit that notification bell, leave a like and a comment, and share the content. Also, if you'd like to show your appreciation, make sure you tip, hit that uh, thanks button below the video uh, and uh, buy me a cup of coffee. <laughs> Uh, so here we go. Today we're going to talk about a uh, Facebook question, how to make a kite shape bezel uh, stone. So uh, let's just go ahead and dive into this. <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, first thing probably is uh, you need to get measurements of your stone, of course, uh, the width wise, the length wise and the depth wise. And that angle could be a little challenging to, to get right. So one of one of the ways to do it is to go ahead and just take a picture of it on a one grid paper, lay it down nice and straight as you can get it. Uh, and then on one grid paper, right, and take a picture of it, and then you can import it using your view command, uh, going to background and picture frame, right, and then just pick on your picture here, uh, and then place it out there, and then you can center it up, uh, transform, uh, center, hit enter, and it'll center it up, uh, but it probably is not exactly in the center because your picture will be a little off, right? Uh, but it'll at least give you an idea and then after you get your picture in here it's on the one grid this is not one grid of course as you can see but you can be able to uh, line those up with your grid paper by going to options uh, and then going to uh, your properties well click on your picture and go to uh, texture or material rather and then scroll down here in object transparency and just kind of move that around so you can see through and then you can line those grids up uh, so that you can get a very accurate measurement of your stone right uh, we're not going to do that because I I don't have uh, the grid paper and everything but that's one way to do it uh, I, again I don't know what your stone looks like but so we're just going to draw something out here I'm going to switch to my yellow creation I'm going to go to line curve and make sure my grid snaps are on and I'll just say we'll go up here and just this will be a big one but it'll give you an idea of what we're going to do and we'll click there we'll click on the end there and we'll drag down to get a uh, kite shape on one side we'll go to mirror type in f4 and hold down shift and then lock those together and then uh, go ahead and select all those and join them together because you'll need a closed curve now the first way we're going to i'm going to show it a couple different ways but the first way uh, is uh, going and using our custom gym builder right so if you have this, uh, the closed curve out here, you can go to your custom uh, gym builder and then select on that curve and then just go ahead and hit enter and it will place uh, a pop-up out there and uh, an image of your stone. Now, it's not... Uh, right over the top of our line but it is the exact same size of the line it's just placing it right in the center there it's it's no big deal uh it is the exact same uh, measurements of your line there and then you can go ahead if it's not a uh diamond maybe it's a gym if you look on the bottom we have a diamond cut but if it's a gym you can go ahead and here and it'll go ahead and select a uh kind of a more of a gym style out there but if it's a diamond you can just leave that off un unchecked uh, and then you can go and manipulate facet number table height and everything uh, in here to to get the stone that you want uh culet depth depth you know usually these uh kite shapes are just slivers off of other stones that were cut to maximize profit for the the material uh so you know maybe they're kind of shallow uh, usually, uh, you know, sometimes they're even wafers, just real, real thin. Uh, but after you get it to where you like it, you can just click in your viewport and then hit enter. Sometimes a little box will pop up here and what you'll have to do is go back and maybe change your faceted material. Uh, but this will give you a, a gem, right? And then you can just select the gem and go to your, uh, uh, settings and then place a bezel on that. And uh, there you go. Uh, and you can manipulate it as you see fit, right? Now, this uh, particular one, it, it kind of uh, gives us a little indentation there, right? And maybe, you know, maybe that's not 
the style of your gym uh so but this is just a, a real easy way to to grab the the kite shaped stone and get it pretty close uh, so this is just one way right so let's go back let's uh, delete out of that you can you know do all your manipulations on the bezel and everything uh okay so let's go ahead and uh, delete that uh well we'll just go ahead and uh, change it to this color and hide it now, uh, really, you don't need anything other than the curve unless you want to do a render because you can do a uh, bezel straight from this curve. You don't even need to draw out the gem. This is the second option. Uh, <clears throat> so if you're not really needing the gem for a render or anything, you're just trying to get the, the, um, the bezel, right? Uh, you can just go to your bezel, select on your line there, and then hit enter, and then it will give you your uh, bezel out there, right? And you can just manipulate it however you see fit uh, at that point, right? Uh, so, I mean, you don't need to draw out the entire stone to make the bezel. Uh, just, I guess that's my point here. Uh, you can still make the bezel just with the curves, all right? Uh, so let's just uh, back out of that. And the other way is if you want it and you want these real sharp here and you kind of want to manipulate it yourself is you can uh, draw it all out yourself. Uh, so you can select on the, the curve there. And I'm just going to hold down Alt and click here for my girdle, right? So I'll hold down Alt, I'll click here, and I'll just say my girdle is a 0.1 millimeter, and then hit Enter. So I have that section there, right? <clears throat> I'm going to go back and select this, and I'm going to hold down Alt, and I'm just going to drag it up. I'm going to turn off my grid snaps at this point, make it easier to uh, manipulate. And we'll just say that's, uh, you know, round... Well, I had alt shift it on so let's click off of that <coughs> excuse me uh, we'll just say that that's where the the girdle comes up or the table the stone is uh, if you have all the measurements on a gym report or something it'll be really easy to input all the data uh, and make it exactly like it uh, the angles and the, the the pavilion offset and angle and everything but anyway if you take this you can just kind of go ahead hold down shift grab your little gumball there and kind of bring it in a little and we'll say that's uh, the table of our gemstone right and that's really all you need uh, for this uh, to make this stone is those three curves so what we're going to do is we're going to go into surface and we'll go to uh, uh, we'll just do the uh, we'll do the uh, we'll try parametric here we'll just go ahead and select all three of those and hit enter and it gives us that we can come down here to change from normal to straight and there you go and there's the top part of our stone uh, we or the pavilion and girdle uh, we'll just select that curve and we'll just go to planar right there and now for these down here we'll go to uh, tools we'll select uh, Let's see, do I have two curves out there? It looks like, oh, no, that's okay. Uh, we'll select that outside curve there where the bottom of the culet is, and we will go to uh, extrude, uh, to extrude planar uh, curve to point, uh, and then select that, and then just kind of hold down shift. Maybe you can turn on grid snaps here to make it a little easier, and however depth it is, uh, just click on that. Uh, now we can take uh, all green and all well we'll just go ahead and select that oh before we do that though uh that's going to produce a solid surface when we did that extrude right so we'll just go ahead and hide green i'll hold down shift and control select this surface and delete it and then uh, bring back my green there right and then i'll select this this and this and join those together and change them to blue and now it's not a gem it's just a blue surface but it'll render as a gem right uh so we'll select it check it close poly surface so there we go and again i can't select this because it's not a gem it's just surface so if i go there go to settings and try to put on a bezel i i can't do that but i can grab that original curve the very first one down there the bottom of the girdle there and go to the bezel setting and now i can kind of manipulate it from here right and adjust things accordingly however I want uh, so that's uh, another way of uh, doing it and I kind of really like this one maybe a little bit better way uh, 
but anyway after you get your bezel out there let's open this up a little bit let's take this dome down a little uh let's see if we can turn on chamfer no nope, not going to give a chamfer uh but uh, you can manipulate it uh, like this here right all right so after you get everything the way you want it you just hit enter and you have all this we'll just go ahead and take all our curves and uh well can't turn them off we'll turn them to gray and turn them off all right now we can go to our render here right and uh we can go ahead and let's see let's put a shiny a black shiny on the background there let's uh, go to render gems uh we'll select our gem there and give it a uh, diamond and we will select our uh purple there for our metal and give it my custom there and uh we can go ahead and uh check our ray traced before we do our and there you go uh there's a gem uh kite shaped stone with a bezel right so hopefully this uh, video was helpful and useful in your designing process and if it was please uh, leave a comment and uh, like and uh, share the content uh, and of course tap that subscribe button hit that notification bell and again uh, if you're wanting to show some appreciation buy me a cup of coffee hit that uh, thanks button so thanks for watching good designing see you next time